Ever since social media became the mainstream cool thing to do, there have always been people running around and reposting content they find online. Doesn't matter if they attach it to a tweet, stimps it together back when Vine was a thing, you name it. Reposting was always a thing. We've always looked down on reposting content because it's profiteering off of someone else's work, they spend X amount of hours working on something for you to repost it in under 5 minutes, but when it comes to VTubers or streamers in general, the conversation surrounding this is actually a mixed bag, and this is because of what we call clippers. Clippers exist solely to repost the content of others. So today, let's talk about it. One of the defining traits of a clipper channel is that they have no rights at all to the content that they produce, or very limited rather. See, unlike us content raccoons that usually react to content, at the very least, we generally own the copyright of the reaction itself because of a magical thing called fair use. As the gods intended. If I want to satirize someone, critique them, or generally add commentary to someone else's copyrighted media, I can do it without their knowledge or consent. Over to Clipper channels, where the entire purpose of them is to just wholesale rip content. That's it. No changes, no modifications, no funny little edits. While there is some case law to defend the compilation of works, it's shaky at best when it comes to what Clippers are doing because it's not even a compilation of clips just an unedited part of someone else's livestream, plastered on some no-name channel. Because of the low effort nature of what a Clipper channel is, this brings about a similar issue of reaction content, monetizing it. We all know, in content creation, taking someone else's content, slapping your face on it, and calling it yours is kinda cringe. Let's get real. The silver lining being, at least with reaction channels, some level of thought or effort needs to be put into the base content, at least to satisfy making the content quote unquote transformative. It goes without saying that a clip chimp channel doesn't do that at all. At that point, you're basically profiteering off of someone else's success, poaching views that could have went to them, hogging it for yourself, you filthy thief. It's not really something accepted in any form of content creation, except for TikTok and Twitter for some reason. So it's fair game for people to be angry once the content starts getting monetized. So we spent the last few moments ragging on Clipper channels. If they're just a bunch of guys ripping content, why do we tolerate them in the first place? Well, it's because it's not like they're valueless. There's a key difference here. See, because Clipper channels act as a nexus for the content of others, they do provide some level of value. Like reaction channels, Clipper channels do provide some sort of discoverability for the VTubers that they feature. But for smaller guys, or maybe corporations that are just getting started, a Clipper channel, by design, already has a target audience they're looking for. And that's at the very least something that they can give back. But a lot of what they give back actually has to do with their ability to introduce new people into the VTubing scene. Not only in the form of direct exposure, but in the form of direct translations. A lot of the bigger VTubers don't actually speak any English. So along come the Clippers, who can introduce their content to a new audience who wouldn't have been able to consume it anyway. When monetizing their content, these in my experience seem to be the least controversial because there's actually a value benefit to the source, opening them up to an EN audience. This third one is a bit niche, but they are a pretty good place to find B-roll. Normally when it comes to VTubers, or any sort of artistic medium, we look down on any sort of theft. AI, raw model rips, take your pick. But it's a curious case when it comes to Clippers. They're the one channel type in the community that we seem to be okay with when it comes to taking other people's content. The idea of a Clipper channel in itself is nothing new, it's more of a reflection of clip chimp channels over on regular streamers. But being that they do at least give something back, I guess it's okay? There is some proof that what they do actually works because you'll see it all the time on Twitter. You'll see obvious engagement bait posts that are obviously paid for by these uh, very special kind of content creators that'll go to these random meme accounts and they'll reply to that tweet in order to get it boosted to the top. And if it was true that if what they did didn't work, then they wouldn't bother paying for it. But I don't really like to give them too much flack because in a way, all social media platforms, to a degree, support the reposting of content. Think for a second, if they actively wanted to disincentivize you from copying other people's content and wanted you to make original content, why do they give you a repost button on almost every single platform? But honestly, that's a conversation for another day. So we're cutting it here. 